Know the difference between dry and dehydrated skin. Not a few people don't know the difference between dry and dehydrated skin, and even consider the two as the same thing. In fact, these two skin conditions are different and have different treatments. Dehydrated skin is not a type of skin, but a skin condition that occurs when the body lacks fluid intake, so the skin looks dry. However, on the other hand, dry skin is not always caused by dehydration. Dry skin can sometimes occur due to irritation of the skin or skin types that tend to be dry, even though the body's fluid needs are still fulfilled. Dry skin conditions are generally characterized by skin that feels rough, scaly, and sometimes accompanied by itching. Because these two things have different causes, the treatment for dry and dehydrated skin conditions is not the same. The difference between dry and dehydrated skin and their treatments. Following are the differences between dry and dehydrated skin conditions and their treatments. Dry skin. The skin needs fluids and natural skin oils or sebum to keep it moist. A person with dry skin type has a relatively small number of oil glands in the skin, so the skin lacks lubrication or natural skin oil that functions to maintain moisture. Owners of dry skin types will usually experience symptoms in the form of itching, skin that looks less flexible or elastic, and looks dull, rough, and scaly. There are several factors that can cause a person to experience dry skin, including Hereditary factor. The skin is often irritated or inflamed, for example as a result of exposure to harsh chemicals, allergies or atopic dermatitis. Long-term exposure to ultraviolet rays from the sun. Habitual hot baths or showers. If you have dry skin type, try to follow some of these tips for caring for and repairing dry skin. Routinely use skin moisturizers, both for the skin on the body or face. Try not to take too long in the shower, no more than 10 minutes, especially if you use warm water. Avoid bath soaps or facial soaps which can dry out the skin. Use a cream textured facial cleanser and a gel textured body wash. Dehydrated skin. Dehydration is a condition when the body experiences a lack of fluid intake, so that the body's organs cannot carry out their functions properly. Dehydration can be caused by the habit of not drinking enough water or certain conditions, such as diarrhea, vomiting, fever, sweating a lot, and urinating too often. If these conditions are not treated, the body can experience various symptoms, such as impaired organ function. When the body is dehydrated, various tissues and organs of the body will lack fluids, including the skin. When there is dehydration of the skin, you will feel certain complaints, such as skin feeling dry, itchy, and looks dull. These symptoms can appear in owners of any skin type, not only people who have dry skin. Apart from dry skin, dehydration can also make you feel other symptoms, such as Dizzy dry and chapped lips. The body feels weak. Infrequent urination. Urine is dark yellow or darker and has a sharper smell. Bad breath. Difficulty concentrating. To deal with dehydration and dry skin that appears because the body lacks fluids, you can do the following tips. Meet the body's fluid needs by drinking enough water, at least 8 glasses per day. Treat conditions that cause dehydration, such as diarrhea or diabetes. Use a moisturizer to keep the skin moist and prevent dry skin. Reduce consumption of alcoholic beverages or caffeinated drinks, such as coffee and tea. 
dry and dehydrated skin conditions that make skin dry may appear similar. However, these two conditions have different symptoms and the treatment is also different. Dry skin conditions due to dry skin types generally only cause problems on the skin. Meanwhile, dehydration not only causes dry skin, but also other health problems. That's the difference between dry and dehydrated skin which is quite significant. With the right care, dry or dehydrated skin conditions can be overcome. However, if you still experience dry skin or dehydrated skin even though you have taken good care of your skin and are sufficient for your body's fluid needs, you should consult a dermatologist about this.